Hey everyone, it's Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle back with another recipe video. And last week I had a ton of requests to make a video using chicken and pasta. So what did I do? That's right, I made a recipe video using chicken and pasta. And the one that I came up with is really easy to make, it tastes great, and you don't need that many ingredients. That's the nice part about this. And guys, if you're having a girl over on a date and you want to make something to impress her, this is the one for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is start to cook our pasta and I have one cup of brown rice pasta here in this bowl and what we're going to do is add some water into this pot and we'll add in the pasta and we'll let that cook for around 15 minutes. Now in the meantime what we're going to do is cook up our chicken and broccoli. So to do that I have this pan here at a medium heat and we'll add around a half a cup of water. And what I have right here in this bowl is 10 ounces of pre-cooked frozen chicken. And the nice thing about this chicken is that it's already cooked. So all that we really need to do is thaw it out on the stove. So we'll add the 10 ounces of chicken into the water. Then we'll add one cup of frozen broccoli. And a quick thing to note on these two ingredients, if you would rather use fresh chicken and fresh broccoli, feel free to do that. This is just much easier, quicker, and convenient. Now we'll put a lid on top of this pan and let the chicken and broccoli thaw out for around five minutes. And after five minutes, what we're going to do is add one cup of diced tomatoes on top of our chicken and broccoli. And now it's time to add in some spices and seasoning. So we'll start with some black pepper, a pinch of salt, oregano, and garlic powder. But feel free to add any other seasonings that you want to this. And a quick thing about the garlic powder, if you would rather use fresh garlic, feel free to, because I always get a lot of comments saying, why don't you just use fresh garlic? Well, this is quicker for me, but if you would rather use fresh garlic, by all means, be my guest. Now we'll turn our stove down to low, and we'll put the lid back on top of this and let this simmer for around 10 minutes, and by that time, our pasta should be fully cooked. So, I'll see you guys when both of these are done. All right, so after 10 minutes, our pasta is fully cooked, and as you guys can see, I already drained it and put it in a bowl, and our chicken and broccoli and tomatoes are done as well. So now what we'll do is take a spoon and scoop that on top of the pasta. And to top this dish off, what we're going to do is take two tablespoons of low-fat mozzarella cheese and sprinkle that right on top. And this right here is what the recipe looks like when you're finished with it. We have our delicious pasta dish that we cooked up in around 15 minutes. We have our chicken, tomato, and broccoli and cheese on top. And at the very bottom, we have the pasta. And a quick thing to note about the ingredients, you can always customize the amounts of everything to whatever fits your diet and macros. This is just a basic guideline that you can follow, but this one is going to taste awesome, and I highly recommend it. And that is pretty much gonna lead us to the end of this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed because it really does help the channel grow and I really do appreciate it. And if you wanted to see some more of my recipe videos, you can click on any of those playlists over to the side of me and they'll open up in a new window. So if you're looking for like a salmon recipe, obviously you would click on the lunch and dinner playlist and so on. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's really hot in here. I'm sweating. And if you guys wanted to stop by Facebook or follow me on Twitter, the links are down below in the description. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time.